This is berberine. It helps you manage your weight and maintain your energy levels. Today, we're putting it to the test. <laughs> All right, I'm here with Ali Spagnola. Hi. So How are glad you to be here. Except what you're about to do to me. This is honey. It's gonna help us spike our glucose as high as we can. And we're gonna try to mitigate the damage with berberine. Let's see if it actually works. And you're <sighs> vegan, right? Yes, well, not today. <laughs> we talked about, right, it'll increase your weight if there's too many spikes throughout the right. day. Right, yeah. Your energy levels will go up and down. Glucose is the main source of energy right. for your brain. You will get closer to diabetes, heart mm -hmm. disease, even linked to Alzheimer's. It just causes a lot of inflammation if we have a lot of glucose in our blood, so we would like to keep those spikes down. The beautiful level graph, because we're using levels to test all of this. So you know what we have to do is we have to take four and a half tablespoons of honey. Yeah, great, awesome. That sounds delicious and super good for you. <laughs> but first, let's take our mitigation protocol. This is Berberine 500 from Thorne. Please sponsor me. It really should be called a drug. Berberine is one of the more, if not the most effective supplements for lowering blood glucose. And it says to take two capsules. It's supposed to be 30 minutes before your meal. I've oh, heard. 30, see, that, I've done this before and I failed and maybe it was because I had it with my meal. Uh, Five to three, how did, uh, what, it made it worse. We don't have those 30 minutes, so <laughs> this is real science today. We'll take the berberine and then we'll start to eat the honey. You're excited, oh, right? Oh, I'm so pumped. <laughs> Ew. Oh, whoa. I've never seen pills like this before. They're bright yellow, yeah? Why is that? That's, it's from a plant. Berberine actually comes from various plants and tree bark. This is what it looks like. It's mm. all yellow, yellow pills. Naturally, caution yellow. Oh, so it's telling us not to have this. Yeah, I don't know, I'm just trusting my instinct. What, I, I know you've done this before, what are the potential side effects? I've heard that nothing too crazy, like stomach upset, that kind of thing. Okay. A pretty splitting headache. It gave me pretty vicious headache. So for me, it was a no. Okay. I think I took four, actually. You took four? four and it How did many nothing. are you supposed to? Two. Two? Yeah. Do you want to try these ones this time? Yes. All right. Because Thorne is going to work over other no name brands. They're supposed to be better, right? And then you'll get sponsored. Yes. <laughs> I don't know why I'm so excited for this, I but am also not. scared. Okay, go. <laughs> I feel fitter already. So we just took the berberine. And I guess the ideal situation that I would use is if I'm going to like a party or I'm going to a social event where I know there's going to be cake and I know. Four I'm tablespoons of honey. <laughs> while sitting around. I don't want to promote any bad behavior, but I know that certain people use this when they've overeaten sugars or they're doing their cheat days, something that I'm personally just not a fan of, and they want to keep their blood sugar in check or they know they're going to consume a huge meal, they'll take berberine to keep blood glucose clamped. Yeah, there's been a lot of stories that I've heard, especially for people using a continuous glucose monitor to help manage their weight and understand, all right, if I eat this, does that, is it good or bad for my custom self. Yeah, it's interesting because I eat oatmeal specifically and just look like I'm diabetic. It'll spike up really high and that's really surprising because I had no idea. Mm. But you could eat oatmeal and have a really great response. Mm -hmm. So it really is personalized to you and you can't write one universal diet book. Have you experimented with like rolled oats, steel cut oats, Overnight Ooh, oats. I'm gonna try them all. Yeah. No, what I have done is started adding protein and fat in with my ah, oats, so that okay. makes a difference too. But if you are too lazy to do protein and fat before your carbs, <laughs> take a pill. <laughs> you could take a pill. This is not recommended. Please consult your doctor before trying this. It is powerful. You, if you're going to experiment with berberine, you definitely want to talk to your doctor. Should we scan our glucose values yeah, first. Let's see what we got right now. I'm at a 98 right now with my glucose values. Sitting at an 89. 89. So I have more room for failure. All right, so we're about 10 apart. Let's see how high this will go. Yep. You ready? I am not. Are you sure? <laughs> Let's just do it before I think harder about it. All right, it. grab a spoon. <laughs> All right. Me first, thanks, great. I've never done this before. That's like one, that's definitely one. Okay. <laughs> Science. <gasps> do we need chaser? Whoa, I don't know, do you? <laughs> I'm an adult. <laughs> I take my honey straight. <laughs> oh, cheers. <laughs> mm. Mm. Poor bead. I've never had honey. Just straight? Just straight. It's Honestly, it's delicious. I was complaining with it. <laughs> my human body is like, ooh, yes, more of that. It's just weird, I guess. Mm. Why did you agree to do this? Oh, for science, obviously. <laughs> this is going to be a published research paper, right? <laughs> yes. Mm. Mm. Mm-hmm. Two down, 2.5 to go. They're getting less good as we go along. Oh, it's making a coating in my mouth. Mm. Oh, Weird wow. that this is how I'm breaking being vegan too. Three, 1.5 mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. go. 
<laughs> I'm regretting this already. How many grams of sugar is this? 76.5 grams of sugar. Oh lord, this is like three Cokes. Oh no, but it's natural, right? Mm, it's organic. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, we should point that out. <laughs> this is from natural sources, so it's healthy. Mm. I think I got honey in my mustache. <laughs> That's not an easy one to get out. <laughs> now a half. Precisely one half. Yeah. This is like when your dad goes, oh. Caught you smoking a cigarette. <laughs> now you're gonna smoke the whole pack. <laughs> I'm never having sugar again. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. I learned my lesson. What I really want to do is a CrossFit workout <sighs> to mitigate that spike. I feel elevated. How do you feel right now? I'm terrified. My heart rates <laughs> through the roof. It's just a placebo, but still. Do we add this as a meal? <laughs> yes. <laughs> if it doesn't get tracked, did it really happen? Straight honey. I, I send this data to levels so they know. Next time someone else has straight honey, they can warn them. Did you have a good night's sleep last night? I did not. My HRV was garbage. My aura ring said, you should take it easy today. Oh, no. And that generally <laughs> means that I'm more spiky. What do you think is going to spike higher, you or me? Me. Really? Calling it. And I, I don't, I'm not proud of that. But <laughs> <laughs> I think you're still metabolically more fit than me. Maybe. <laughs> I, I hope so, but we'll see. I also actually think being vegan has made a difference. I'm seeing a lower fasting glucose. I've seen lower spikes since, and it's probably something to do with how much fiber I get now. Mm -hmm. What do you think has been like the biggest impact on mitigating your glucose spikes since you've switched to vegan and you've done all these things like walking, mm -hmm. fiber, what's been like the most powerful thing? Have you been able to notice like, okay, this variable has had a big impact? Yeah, I think, the, and it's the two things that affect everyone, because we were saying there's no universal diet book and everything's different for everyone, except walking after a meal mm -hmm. seems to work for everybody to keep the spike down, which is why I really want to go move around right now. <laughs> <sighs> and then having mixed meals. I actually have a video on my channel where I'm like, hey everyone, I just eat straight popcorn to save myself from putting fat on it. And I look back and I'm like, that was probably incredibly wrong. This TGM, this things in our arm, which we've installed because we're both cyborgs, is a continuous glucose monitor. It measures your interstitial glucose, not your blood glucose. It helps you understand everything that you eat, your lifestyle habits, kind of how does your glucose value correlate to all those behaviors, right? Right. So how long have you worn one and how has it changed your life? over a year and it has certainly changed what I eat and when I eat. Mm -hmm. Meal timing is a big part of it too. I've now started eating before my workouts where I used to work out fast. As a fellow cyborg, how many trackers are you wearing right now? Right now? <gasps> Only two. How embarrassing. Oh no. <laughs> how many do you usually wear? Yeah, honestly, it's usually just two. Oh, two, and okay. the, my own. I'll have to give you one of my trackers. Oh, I just launched. you're making your yeah. own. What's it called? It's called the O-Band. O-Band. Okay. So it is now already tracking you. All my data goes straight to your email? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Your data is safe with not me because it collects no data. Your score is 100%. <gasps> Look at you. You're awesome. Oh. Uh, They're not available any longer. Oh. Uh, what inspired this? The idea of nocebo. It's, it's uh -huh. real. When a device gives me a bad score, I end up feeling worse that day. So yeah. I wanted a device to just lift me up. I guess now we just wait for two hours. But until then, we're going to shoot a video on Ali's channel. So go check that out. <laughs> Oh, I'm already, I'm oh, already at 112. <laughs> it's going up. Yeah, you can feel it oh going up too. What is that right now? 106. You're at 106? Yeah. 114. <laughs> 114. <laughs> We're just going up and up. According to levels, that's already too high. You want really? to stay between 110 oh. and 72. Oh, baby. What Sensor happened? What just error. happened? I hit 141. Before it went. And yeah, and then it just honked out. Oh my god. I broke it. 97. <laughs> what the heck? Berberine Savage. for the win. Yeah, right? <laughs> it's wow. literally flatlining too. It didn't go yeah. down, down. We're back. <laughs> I'm still alive, which is surprising, honestly. <laughs> How do you feel after having those four and a half tablespoons? Uh, still pretty crappy, but honestly, not as crappy as I expected. All right, Ali, what, what's, what's the highest you've ever spiked? Ugh, I've been to 180, which is crazy because after 180, I think, is when your body freaks out and can't handle it and you start peeing out glucose. Really? Yeah. I've never had that happen. Yeah. How high did you get? <laughs> All right, I'm going to scan my arm right now. Boom. All right, I am at 91. 
77. 77? Yeah. Is that normal? What would back you have down. expected to happen? I would expect to, yeah, I guess hopefully get back down to a healthy area. Yeah. But the fact, honestly, what I think is remarkable here is how high I didn't get. How high did you peak this time? 141, which is significantly lower than the last time. 199 versus 141. That's a big difference. Yeah, that's crazy. But other than that, I'm pretty shocked. I'm gonna try this experiment again and see what happens. Yeah, how that's high crazy. did you end up peaking? Okay, so yeah, I peaked to 114. Which is surprising because the meal you had this afternoon, you got all the way up to... Yeah. I had lunch, I had, what did I have for lunch? I had eggs, potatoes, and some fruit. I peaked to 117 and then I dropped to 75. Oh wow, yeah. And I don't think there was 70 grams of sugar in that. I only hit 114, which yeah. is a little bit lower. Yeah. And I've, I stayed, I didn't go down. I didn't go hypoglycemic, yeah. right? I think what happened is either Amazon Berberine is not as good as Thorn Berberine. There you go. Or, <laughs> or it was a Wim Hof breathwork we did in between. So we tried this supplement and I think it actually helped a little bit. We might have to do another test. Ali and I did a Wim Hof video. Go watch that link down below.